Hello. Capricorns. I feel like this fan is just not hitting me at all. Now it is. It's a tad bit louder. If you can hear it, my apologies. But I have to record with the window closed because shit gets so loud out there sometimes. And then I get distracted and pissed off. Well, there's my psycho neighbor. I shouldn't say psycho, but a little bit psycho. Okay. Oh, okay. We got two magical cards out already. Right in my face. Okay, so we've got feasting in reverse. We've got bear medicine and solstice. To be honest, my sister and I were just talking about bears. We were. This is how weird this is. I wasn't even expecting to use these cards today. I wasn't even expecting to do a third message. And then we talked about bears because we wanted, we try, we were trying to figure out how, how much weight is behind a polar bear's jaw. And funny, great white has the most strength. It's like 30, 100,000 million PSI. It's fucking crazy. We're just talking about bears. So it, I don't know why this feasting is re in reverse. Let us feast upon the nourishing and be thankful for thy feast, nor here or there yet everywhere it be. So I almost feel like somebody took food away from you. The ability to feast and be merry because they said you were sick and that you needed to change. I think that's what it is. I knew it was going to be some fucking sick and twisted reading. It's never just wonderful and beautiful. So bear medicine, there is no tomorrow without the healing of the past for in stillness, you shall find yourself right where you are. And then solstice all hail the cunning truth in which it burns deep within root rise above the ashes and claim the gods are awaiting your glory, your name.
Yeah. I think that's what it is. It's like I think somebody is dealing with somebody that you know maybe put some energy out there in your name that was not supposed to. Okay. Um and it's like you've been, yeah, it's like you've been stuck in healing. You know, it's funny. These cards just kind of popped out of the bottom here. So I'm going to go with them. But we've got Italy in reverse, and that's my card for, like, indulgence and love and the way that Italians really go for things. You know, they really embrace life, and it's in reverse, okay? And that worries me because that means that somebody had the opportunity that was, a pro like, a part of your property or on your land, okay, had the audacity to be some type of ringleader in your life. Okay, and that ringleader controlled your banking and your financials. Okay, uh, this person is straight up evil. It's my Polish card for evil. Okay, um, I've met the nicest Polish people, so don't think that I think that Polish people are evil. The, the, the reason it's why I have that card is because I dealt with a Polish girl who thought she was a witch and what she did with her powers is hurt people. That's all she wanted to do was hurt people. And she would think of any and every idea it was to hurt people. Her favorite spell was the freezer spell, was to put people's names in the freezer and freeze them out of her life and freeze them for not speaking to her and freeze them for not apologizing to her as if she had the fucking right, right? As if you're supposed to force somebody to apologize to you or be nice to you. Bitch, that's all respect. That's all shit that's earned. You don't put people in the freezer because you don't like them or because they don't like you. It's not what that's for. We also got Germany. Okay. And Canadian. So this person could be of German descent, Polish, Canadian. Okay. They had the ability to be a ringleader of your financials. How, how, acting like a boss or maybe they maybe this is your boss they're controlling their uh, feminine controlling energy okay that saw you as somebody that they could take from okay we got love bomb in reverse with the ace of cups we got asia in reverse doesn't really matter if it says asia but that's also the nine of pentacles or the six of pentacles. Okay. No, it's the eight, nine of what's diamonds again. I think that is pentacles. Yeah. Nine of pentacles. I said it right. Okay. A clearing was done so they couldn't track you anymore. So this person was tracking you. Oh, what if they like worked at the bank or something and they could see your financials? Yeah, this could be somebody who worked at the bank. Okay. Then we got jealous background drama. Okay. With the five of wands. Tired and drained with the seven of pentacles. So this was a lot of work for them to track you. Okay, a lot of work to track you. Do you know how much energy goes into stalking somebody? It basically becomes a full-time job. And if they have a full-time job already, then they've got two full-time jobs. That's how much it, it takes to be able to fucking stalk somebody, okay? This, this person is holding back money from you. I don't know how, but they're holding back money from you. 
They've got something bound and gagged. They're using something for entertainment only. So I almost feel like they've got your financials um, bound up under their name or something. Okay. And they're using it for entertainment only. Okay. Um, or they're, they're even using it to track you. Okay. They're basically just throwing it right into the fire. That's all they're doing. They're not, they're not spending this money on anything that they're supposed to be spending it on. They just want entertainment. Okay. This is a very dangerous person. The seven of wands here. Okay. They're very dangerous. They're very defensive and they have a lot of people up against you. Okay. Um, they've built this army of people behind them. So then they think that they're allowed to do what they're doing because no one's saying anything, but no one's saying anything because they don't want them to all of a sudden take some type of interest in them. Look at there's enemy. Okay. So the universe is telling you to fight back. Okay. Big time. African-American. witchcraft yeah kind of felt that this person's really angry and they're watching you from the underworld okay that's how they're doing it so they've got some some okay they're they're using witchcraft okay so they're using some type of tool so then they can watch you through the underworld this is my as above so below but it's flipped up the the as uh so below part this person is fired up angry okay there's some type of guardian and watcher in reverse okay and uh yeah they're acting like this could be a jealous ex Definitely a lot of drama. This person doesn't know what they're doing. They don't understand what they're doing. When people do witchcraft and they go out and they hurt people with that witchcraft, witchcraft was never invented to go out and hurt people. Okay. It was invented to do things for personal growth, uh, for magic, to gain experience, to gain wisdom, to open up portals to different dimensions. So then it's, it was all about self and it is still supposed to be all about self. Okay. Not about somebody else. This person thinks that there's some type of principle. Okay. But it's in reverse, which means they're not, okay. They're not in charge of anything. And that pisses them off because of how controlling they are, that they actually don't have anybody to control. So they control you somehow in the underworld by causing a lot of drama in your 3d. Okay. It's somehow like this person, yo, Honestly, this person is fucking obsessed with you, absolutely obsessed with you. And you know, when people get obsessed with you, they get so angry and they get angry at you because of their obsession. They get angry at you because they're tracking you around. They don't want to know what you're doing, but they have to know. Okay. This person could be some type of closet gay. Okay. And, and that they're never going to come out of the closet. They're never going to accept it. And that, that pisses them off because this person obviously finds you really attractive. So it makes them want to take everything from you because it's a relationship that can never be done. And they know that. So they can't love bomb you. They can't do what they want to do. They can't boss you, boss you around. They have no actual physical control over you. They're just obsessed. Okay. This is a va very like shocking attack. Like, like this, this person should not have done this. Not that anybody should do any type of attack whatsoever. This person could be sick in the head. Okay. Like, honestly, like they could have like syphilis, you know, they could have something that's actually killing them. Oh my God. Look at that. Truth cuts deep. Like, I'm not lying. Like, they, they actually really could. They could, like, if that's what Hitler died of, we got Germany on the table. He died of syphilis, right? Is that what I said? Did I say the sif? I mean, back in the day, you probably could fucking die of anything. <sighs> now there's quite a lot of vaccines, but if you don't know, you have it. That's the thing. If you don't know, you have it. If you contracted something somehow from somebody else, right? 
um, this was, it's like slowly sickening their mind, like rabies, you know? And, and it, it's like, Oh, somebody just like fucked with me to say that. It's like, somebody didn't want me to say that. Like this person's sick. Okay. They're sick and they're twisted. And, and this person needs help. They need psychiatric help. They need medicine. Okay. And they need a lot of it and they need it fast before they go out and do something. You know, wanting to take something from somebody is not okay. Okay, this person's never going to stop. Okay, but the universe is going to stop them. Okay, this person has massively mistreated you and left you all by yourself. And they don't even fucking want to take acknowledgement for it. They don't want to take acknowledgement for anything that they've done to you. Okay, this person is what you would call a role model in reverse. This is somebody that's not looked up to. They're not cherished. Nobody wants to be like them. Nobody acts like them. Nobody even really wants to be around them from the from the sounds of it. Okay, so I wouldn't even worry about that one um, in, in that case. But, you know, when it comes to you, like this person gets blackout rage, man blackout rage for how angry they are they're at they could live at some lake okay they could have a lake house or they could live by a lake something like that and then they say that by living at this lake they're healing they're doing all this healing at the lake but they're not they're not doing any healing at any fucking lake it's making it worse because this person is rage okay this person is the devil in my mind they are cutthroat Okay, there, there's some type of cutthroat fucking old school bitch that just wants to fucking act like a bitch because she can. Okay, there we got American. You got out of this somehow, okay? You got out of this um, and, and something really successful is going to come your way. I wouldn't be surprised if like you become a lawyer or something or you're, you suddenly have some guardian that's of the law, okay? And they are going to give you some type of romantic offer here. Okay. This just came out of fucking nowhere. Okay. All of a sudden it's like the universe is going to realize your success is through this lady. Some lady comes in. This is a very powerful person that's about to meet. You're about to meet somebody very powerful. And I don't know if it's in this dimension or if it's another dimension, but they are coming in to bring you some fucking balance and a half, okay? You've been seriously left out of something. And now they realize you were left out of something because somebody was mad at you. So it's basically like I just heard. It's like you've been grounded for 20 years because someone's been mad at you. Like, grow the fuck up. Wow. They're the ringleader of all of this. Because they get black out rage angry. Okay? This person... Um, this person cheated their way through life. Okay? They cheated their way through life. And whatever is happening with them like they're fucking gang stalking you for fuck's sakes like this person is disgusting and they're gang stalking you through like the underworld so it's like who fucking knows how they're doing that who knows what people you're coming into contact with so then they can see you through their eyes okay this is a cheater cheater pumpkin eater this person has gone to levels that nobody should go to just to fuck with one person okay like talk about obsession you are on the next chapter my friend and this chapter includes this romantic offer okay um there is some type of very the, like i've i almost feel like i'm getting this strong intuitive vibe about it but there is some type of very strong intuitive person coming your way okay and they're gonna know how much you got played because it's almost like you are, you're going to play, it's, it's, it's almost like you're going to wear it on your face. How much people have fucked you over. Okay. And how much you've been blocked. Okay. You might also be from a very small town or live in a very small town or feel like you live in a small town all of a sudden. Okay. And your loneliness is going to go away. Okay. This has been a very long, hard harvest that has taken a very long time to, to, grow okay somebody's got a very broken heart okay and they're just not seeing the bigger picture that this person has been infiltrated in their land okay and they got a whole new adventure coming okay it's like they're going somewhere else it's like they're gonna ride that fucking train somewhere else and they're headed to a new place so if this resonates 
take it. If it doesn't, please don't take it. Okay, because it's not gonna resonate for everybody, but it is going to resonate for somebody. So keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, if you kind of feel like you've been like massively fucked over or something like that, or like your energy is not right, or like something has just been happening, and now this is this has all come full force, and now you're ready to come out, and you're ready to come out in the open, you're ready to claim everything that this person took from you, you're ready to now claim your financials, right? Like maybe somebody took, like clearly somebody took over your financials, and, and by taking over your financials, you weren't able to feast the way that you were supposed to, which means they took away your indulgence. Go tell them to go fuck themselves. Really? And I hope the universe takes every single piece of indulgence away from them now. All right. I am exhausted from talking. So we're going to end this. Thank you so much for, for being here and watching this. And thank you for being a part of the channel and joining. I hope that uh, each of you gets the information that they truly need. And if you need a question answered and you don't want to do a personal reading, then the secret is, is just ask me. And by asking me, basically you do it telepathically and you just ask me to answer a question for you. And then you give me the question and trust me, the way that magic works is I will in a reading answer your question for you. And the way that it usually comes out is through the title. All right. I've had multiple dreams with a lot of you in them. So I know that whatever this is, I'm supposed to be doing it. And, and I know that a lot of you do come and you ask your questions and then it comes out through readings or it comes out through however way you get it, it, it comes, right? We just have to be patient. We have to wait in line and please do not scream at me. I will hear you. And yeah, that's usually how shit gets done. You just ask. It's pretty simple, right? And it's not like, don't ask me through email. I'm saying, ask me telepathically. If you know how to do that, your answer will be, will be found. It will be answered. Trust me. Your question will be answered anyways, uh, for, or for personal readings. If you want to do that, Whitney moonshine at gmail.com. Um, I have a lot to offer. Um, we can also just straight up do a fucking over the phone. I never say that I should put that. Um, or you can just get simple questions answered. It's up to you. Um, thanks for everything. Like I said, thanks for liking. It's very important. You like the videos cause then it can kind of like get the videos out there and it can reach some more people, but you don't have to, you can also share my videos if you want to people that you think they're going to resonate with. If so, if somebody like comes to you and you're like, wow, I'm really thinking about this person, send it to them and see what they think. I mean, some people hate me, but other people fucking adore me. So, so everybody the cookie crumbles. Thank you for watching. Like I said, have a wonderful evening and we will see you another day. Okay. Peace out.